Uh, so we are continuing with the second part of the tutorial. We are going to post process the, re the results uh, for the model we built in the first tutorial, in the first part of this tutorial. But for the beginning, let's start the model. Let's solve it through the LS Dyna solver. We just choose the file and run it. And now we already have the the solution. In normal termination, twenty seconds. And we are going now to open the D three plot file. Just select and then open <coughs> so now we can uh, see the pressure how it's applied so we can move on the time scale and see how the the plate is loaded with the blast wave we can we can then plot and then plot the history the nodal history so the maximum uh, z displacement from for the cent plate center and we can save the results for the Z displacement we can see it's around 70 millimeters in Z direction so right Z displacement of the uh, plate center and save the results So we need to open another LS pre post if we like to to load the uh, blast force data. So we go here file open interface force and then we choose blast force data. Here we're gonna show the incident and the reflected pressures we have to select the segment and it's the pressure incident pressure and the reflected pressure so we can choose some elements alongside of the plate on a different distance from the from the charge and then we can see the difference in the pressure we can save those data all the reflected pressures at a certain point and we can also do it for the incident pressure so we will save also the incident pressures And then if you like to see what the difference between the incident and the reflected pressure we can select only one element and so we're gonna add the incident pressure here so we can see the difference is obvious now. 
thanks for watching us and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks